Hey guys, what's up? It's Snake here, and I'm bringing you some wager matches from Black Ops. And uh, I was playing the other night with uh, Silver Bullet and Died 4. And uh, we, you know, we normally play capture the hardcore capture the flag, and they've not really taken it away from us, but they've, they've made it part of a mosh pit of all flag games, which includes my least favorite level, Headquarters, or my least favorite game type, I guess. And, uh, and so we decided we'd try and branch out and see what else is going on in the rest of the Call of Duty-verse. And we found wager matches. And uh, we didn't really, I don't, I gotta say, I don't like uh, Sharpshooter very much. I like the idea with uh, how you gain the, the perks with, you know, through kill streaks or whatever. Um, but I don't like the guns. I think maybe if the guns, if they still kept it the way it is, where like, what is it, it's like a minute and a half or something like that, or, or, or a minute maybe, where you have one weapon, but everybody has the same weapon, and then it changes, and it changes to the next weapon. I think maybe if the weapons were random, so everybody still had the same weapon, so it's still that idea, but instead of it always going whatever it is, shotgun, sniper, whatever, you know, assault rifle, whatever it is, um, if every time you got into a game it would be different. So sometimes you jump in and you get a light machine gun which switches to the crossbow which then switches to the law and then to, I don't know, the CZ-75 with full auto on it or, you know, you know, and, it, and each time, each time you got into a game it would be a different game. Uh, it wouldn't be the same exact thing. Uh, and I, I think that would be pretty cool because it kind of it spices the game up a little bit so you don't have to just go, okay, all I need to do is be good with these four guns and uh, I can just rape everybody. Um, it ha it's more, uh, it's it's more challenging. You gotta you gotta be better with more a lot more different guns, you know. But uh, but yeah, so that one that one has to be my least favorite. And then so we were playing sticks and stones for a little bit, and we were playing one in the chamber for a little bit. And I like both of those games. Um, they're both really good. Uh, sticks and stones. My only my only complaint for that one is that sometimes, and it happens almost every game really. What was I aiming at? That was terrible. Um, and then I get snuck in the head. Silver bullets, asshole. No, I'm just messing. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, so it happens almost every game. There's that one guy that throws that one tomahawk, and then that's it. Every every time you look around, there's a tomahawk in your face. Tomahawks all over the place. Everybody's throwing them left, right, up into the air. Hail Mary through tomahawks and all that kind of stuff. And by the end, it doesn't matter how many kills you got. You know, you got the guy with the least amount of kills in first place, and uh, it just, it can get aggravating. You want to you wanna throw your controller or, or something. Uh, so that's the only drawback I see. That's the only reason why I don't play that one more. Because it is, it is a pretty fun game. It's a fun idea. But the, that tomahawk gets me, you know? And, uh, and then the one in the chamber, the only, the only drawback I see to that one isn't, isn't anything wrong with the game. I think it's a great game. Um, it, uh, I'm the drawback. I'm not very good with the pistols. I'm not good at aiming with pistols. Uh, so, you know, sometimes I'll get into a game and everybody's like a decent enough player or whatever. So I'll do okay. I'll do pretty good. Sometimes I get into the money, I don't know, a decent amount of times. And every once in a while I'll actually pull off a first. But, um, but yeah, if, uh, if somebody in there is actually decent enough at aiming, someone actually gets into the game where they're good with the pistol, then that's it. I just, I'm crap. Um, so that's the only drawback for me to that one. That's the only reason why I don't play that one more than I do Gun Game. Because uh, I really do, I like the idea a lot better, and I, I think it's a lot neater. Um, everybody just running around with the pistol. And it's, you know, you, you mess with people's heads, because, you know, how many bullets do you have? Do you have just one bullet? Did you fire it off yet? Do you have more? You know, and it's just, you know, and especially when it gets down to the last two people, and they're all up, they're like right next to each other, neither of them have bullets anymore, and it's just a knife fight. It, it gets really fun and really intense. Um, but hands down, I have to say, oh, here it comes. My terrible sniping job. Yeah, it looks like I should be hitting him, but the crosshairs are so big on that thing, it's I cannot aim, I cannot no-scope with a sniper rifle. And, um, and it works out to my disadvantage right there, obviously. Um, but yeah, gun game... I'm going to talk a little bit about my strategy with Gun Game, and then I'll, I'll start explaining why I think it's a great game. Um, but uh, the way my strategy works, the, the way I, I try to play it, is I'll, is I'll run around, like usually, usually I'll run around most of the time. Um, but whenever I'm running around, I'll run and I'll shoot somebody, and then I'll stop and I'll turn around and try and go the other way. They got me, that's, I, I didn't watch it, but he must have got me good, because I, I was only visible for like a split second right there. 
Anyway, uh, so I'll run around and I'll go to an area and I'll stop and look around. If I get a kill, I'll, I'll usually stop and start running the other way. Because, um, like, I, uh, you know, the action really seems to flow in one direction most of the time. And it all depends on the other players, and I got them back. That's what I'm talking about. And now I got the rocket launchers, which I'm also not that great at. But, um, you know, because I, I always get worried that somebody might be too close and I'll blow myself up. Because I've done that a number of times. But, um... And I gotta say, I'm glad that they brought this gun back after the patch, because uh, I, don't, I don't like the RPG as much. I feel that it's harder to use. Uh, and obviously, it being automatic makes it, makes it way better, too. But, um, where, where was, oh yeah, so I'll kill somebody and then I'll run to another area, and I'll camp a little bit here and I'll camp a little bit there, especially when I have weapons like the sniper rifles or the, uh, or the um, what is it, the, the rocket launchers, because I really want to, like, be careful where I'm aiming to make sure I don't either kill myself or uh, just completely miss. You know, because if you're not aiming at the ground and they're not back up against a wall, that thing will just fly. Oh yeah, and I like to I like to shoot random tubes here and there just in case somebody's sitting in a window. And uh, and boy, does that piss people off. But um, but yeah, so the my best advice on, on this level is to, is to always change the direction you're running in. Always move around so you're not always going with the flow. Because if you're going with the flow, then that means even though you're chasing somebody, somebody's also chasing you. So stopping your flow, stopping turning around, moving in the other direction allows you to run into people more uh, as opposed to them running into you. And I cannot believe, because I, I was too close, it didn't blow up. I was too close and it didn't kill him. Um, and, I, and I'm just, I have stupid bank shots anyway. Uh, so yeah, so that's, that's my best strategy for this. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, it's really important to have good map knowledge. Because the better map knowledge, you, oh, and watch this, this is crazy. He shot, no, that guy shot him, and then I actually stuck that guy, but that guy blew himself up. So that, that jerk-off right there took away both of my kills, because he blew himself up, nullifying the kill he took away from me in the first place. But uh, anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting a little frustrated, but... Uh, but yeah, so so map knowledge is really important, obviously, because you need to know kind of where the flow points are, and the maps are all different, with the exception of like what is it, firing range and um, and Nuketown. They're all different because they're smaller versions. So where you might think a good place would be uh, for the game, uh, for for a normal game, even if it's in the map, even if it's a part of the map that's cut out, uh, it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same kind of strategy that you would use. You need a totally different strategy for this, and um, and not just map knowledge, but being able to be good enough with the weapons, because um, you know, because uh, you know, you got to figure out what your weak points are and figure out how to use the map and uh, and everything to your advantage. If you're not good at sniper rivals, like I'm not that good, you want to figure out good places to camp so you can still catch people. Even if you have to hard scope them, you gotta find the right places to be, and it's a lot of trial and error because there's tons of maps, is the thing, and it's really tough to know every single map um, in and out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but weapons, getting a good uh, good expertise in it, in at least a handful of the weapons, if not being good at that particular weapon type, at least, is really gonna help you out a lot too. And uh, and that looks like it's going to be it for us. Oh, one more thing before we wrap up this uh, this commentary here for uh, for what, whatever it is uh, the gun game. I ha now have a Twitter account, uh, and of course the I'm going to be updating this page and I'm going to be talking about uh, videos coming out and whatever. But there's going to be a link below in the description, and there's a link on my page under companies. Peace out, guys.